studies show that when you do something for somebody and they feel naturally inclined to return the favor, um, you know, it's not manipulation. It's, you know, they, they're going to they're gonna want to do more with you, right? It's human nature. For example, when you offer value up front, it, you know, like free training, mentorship, whatever, they feel more connected to you. 67% of people are more likely to engage with somebody who has offered them something first. Daniel Alonzo, Wealth on the Beach, Alonzo Academy. Today we're diving into the psychology behind successful recruiting. I know a lot of you recruit, and uh, so this is gonna give you an edge on your recruiting game. Oh, and by the way, congratulations for being here and investing time with me today. I mean, let's be honest, you could be rearranging your sock drawer. But instead, you're leveling up, and I love it. So thank you so much for being here. And if you get any value from me today, make sure you share, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future content. Oh, by the way, if you haven't gotten my book, Wealth on the Beach, 11 Universal Laws to Building Financial Freedom, make sure you check it out on Amazon. And by the way, if you like audiobooks, it's on Audible as well. So you want to know the five secrets, the five psychology secrets to upping your recruiting game? Look, I got 25 years in the recruiting game. I'm going to teach you those five big ideas right now. By the way, number five is really the best one. So let's do it now. The first big idea is understanding human motivation. You got to get it, right? People don't just make decisions based on logic. They're driven by emotion. 80% of, de uh, of decisions are emotionally driven. Think about it. How many times have you bought something just because you what? You felt like buying it. Recruiting is no different. Whether you're trying to bring somebody into your business or convince them to join your team, whatever, understanding what they want, understanding their emotions and what those drivers are, that's the key. So ask yourself, what do they want to feel? Is it security? Is it excitement? Is it recognition? You got to tap into uh, you know, what connects them, right? And, and what motivates them to take action. Everybody's different, so you got to figure it out. You got to ask a lot of great questions and you got to figure out what they want. So another major, major key is the power of reciprocity. So studies show that when you do something for somebody and they feel naturally inclined to return the favor, um, you know, it's not manipulation. It's, you know, they, they're going to they're gonna want to do more with you, right? It's human nature. For example, when you offer value up front, it, you know, like free training, mentorship, whatever, they feel more connected to you. 67% of people are more likely to engage with somebody who has offered them something first. So start offering real value. Gary Vee talks about jab, jab, right hook, right? Just give, 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 and then ultimately you can ask. So let's hit on a couple of common beliefs in the recruiting world, right? You need to be pushy to be a great recruiter. And, uh, you know, you need to, uh, you know, let people come to you naturally. Don't chase them. So there's, there's kind of a conflict, right? There's two different ways to look at it. One says you got to be pushy. The other says you should hang back. The truth is it's neither. What you really need is you need balance, right? People don't like to be pressured, but they also need to know that you're serious. You got to be assertive, but offer them something that truly benefits their life. And if they're right, you know, for you and, and you're right for them, they're going to come along willingly without you having to, you know, hit them over the head you know, and, and try to make them do it. And by the way, you never want to make anybody do anything. You don't want to push anybody to do anything. You want, you want to make sure people feel like it's their idea. So if there's something that you want somebody to do, make it their idea, let them be excited about it. Because if, if you push them to do it, then they're not doing it willingly and they won't be happy doing it. They won't be motivated doing it. They'll probably quit a lot faster. But if you make them feel like, all right, this is something that they want to do. This is something that's good for their life. And they explain all the reasons. I mean, look, they'll start actually, believe it or not, they'll start defending being in business with you. 
because when they make the decision, it's on their I mean, Just remember, if they say it, it's true. If you say it, they doubt it. So another big, big idea in the psychology of recruiting is social proof. People follow the crowd, whether they realize it or not. It's the bandwagon effect. You've heard of that. You've heard of it, right? You know, so look, have you ever noticed how if a restaurant is packed, you think it must be good? The same goes for recruiting. When people see others joining your team, they naturally assume there must be some value to it, right? That's why you want to pack out your meetings. That's why you want to have big attendance. That's why you want to have a lot of momentum. One survey even showed that 63% of people make decisions based on recommendations, right? Or whatever they see other people doing. So don't be shy, highlight your stories, share your testimonials and let people see the results, right? You want people to see the bigness of what you're doing, uh, the greatness of your team, right? Talk about how big your team is. Talk about uh, you know, how much money you're making. Talk about where you're traveling and all the company trips and all the, the great things that are happening in your business. Some people might say, oh, that's bragging, you know, Daniel, you know, you're just bragging. You're just, you know, trying to, you know, make me look lesser than you. No, no, no. That's not what, what we're talking about. We're trying to sell the dream. People want to be a part of a dream. They want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. Fourth on the list is creating a sense of urgency. Let's face it. If people think they can wait forever, guess what? They will. But if you let them know that this opportunity won't be around forever, it changes everything. I always tell people like, look, if I was to put together a plan for you where you could earn some awesome passive income and also build some extra, you know, uh, part-time income, if I was to put together something like what would stop you from trying today? Like what would stop you from getting started right now? So I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put a little bit of sense of urgency and make them feel like maybe this opportunity won't be lot, uh, around forever. I also, you know, when I'm, when I'm closing, I always let people know that, uh, you know, generally it costs you $1,800 uh, $1, in licensing. But if you get started today, we're going to pay for all, the, all of that licensing. The only thing you got to come up with like $124, bucks, $25 a month. And if you do that today, we can get you started. We'll make this thing happen and we'll start to create some, uh, some income for you. I also heard a study that shows that a sense of urgency can increase conversions by up to 332%. It's powerful, man. So always remind people that great opportunities don't wait for anyone. And lastly, master the art of listening. Huge, 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 right? Recruiting isn't just about talking. It's about understanding the person in front of you. Research shows though, that people who feel heard are twice as likely to engage with you. So listen more than you talk. And by the way, when you listen, you, un you understand them better. So when you understand them better, you can give them what they want. So when you find out what motivates them, what they're looking for, and then show them how to get that, um, you're gonna have better results, no questions. Uh, no question about it. And if you're watching this and you're going, you know, hey man, this sounds awesome. I love this stuff. I just want you to know I'm a recruiter for a financial services firm that's been in business for over 25 years. So if you got some value here today, remember I'm a recruiter for a financial services company. Been around, the company's been around over 50 years, but I've been in business for like 20 eight years now. I'm actively looking for great people to personally train. And yes, I do it for free. If you're ready to take action, now is the time. And if you got something from today, like there was something like pretty powerful, leave the comment below, right? And let me know what you're excited about. Let me know what you learned. Tell me something about where you're going and what you want to do with your life. And if you want to make more insights, oh, by the way, if you want to work directly with me, I have a Wealth on the Beach coaching program where I teach business, health, wealth strategies to young entrepreneurs, man. I'm looking for 18 to 35, man. I want to work with you and I want to help you level up. I want to help you make more money and change your life forever. Look, I was financially independent by the age of 28 years old. I want to teach you how I did it. And I'll leave you with this. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful.
Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Make sure you dream bigger than ever. Get after it, but most importantly, do it now. God bless you. We'll see you at the top. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here.